Here is a lymph node, which actually was preceded by a couple of gross specimens, but I'd rather not show you those because it would ruin the technique of how I want to teach you this. You could see it's kind of a lymph node because it's blue and there's no organization between cortex and medulla or follicles and cord. So it's lymphoma and let's move on to the next case. Aha, not so fast. You could see these are lymphoid cells here. You might be delusional that these are lymphoid cells as well and many of them may be, but this is a, a case in which yes, we have lymph nodes, but the majority of these other bluish cells, even though they may be intimately mixed with lymphoid cells, they're not lymph nodes at all. They have more of a cohesive, by cohesive I mean sticking together architecture, so characteristic of metastatic carcinoma. This is a large lymph node that is largely replaced by metastatic carcinoma. This is more of a not of a lymphoid area, but all of this is tumor. All of this is tumor, although in areas it is intimately mixed in with the cells that are trying to react against it, the lymphocytes. But in here, it's almost entirely lymphocytes. And I don't suspect we'll see many tumor cells in here. No, 100% lymphocytes perhaps some uh, very intimately mingled uh, tumor cells here mixed in with lymphocytes. This is almost a solid tumor here. This is a solid tumor here. And the point I wanna bring up is, this is these are large cells and they don't quite clearly form glands and they clearly don't keratinize, but the primary was the lungs. So by definition, this would be called undifferentiated large cell carcinoma. Notice it doesn't look like small cell carcinoma because it's really large nuclei and there's an abundant amount of cytoplasm also. Even though large cell carcinoma may appear to be different, from small cell, I'm sorry, from adenocarcinoma or squamous carcinoma. They're generally all derived ultimately from the same type of cell. And they all uh, behave similarly, everything else being equal. And they are all regarded as non-oat cell. And they all generally respond to the same types of chemotherapy. So that's why a lot of people aren't too fancy about differentiating these as large cells rather than a poorly differentiated squamous or a poorly differentiated adeno, which it might be because they're all, all basically in the same family. This is non-oat cell carcinoma, and I thank you very much.